All right, I thought I'd just give a quick run through of my uh, current setup at the moment. I'm the old fat bike here. Um, just heading for a week-long adventure down the 90 mile beach in Gippsland, Victoria. Gonna ride the 90 mile beach, then continue on, hopefully ride the Grand Ridge Road, and then down South Gippsland along, and then we'll get to Phillip Island. The ferry across from Phillip Island to French Island, then the ferry across to the Mornington Peninsula, ride back, maybe potentially ride along St Kilda Beach, but back into Melbourne. Probably around five to six hundred kilometres, that's the plan. Okay, I'll give you a bit of a run through of uh, what's on the bike and what's in each bag. Alright, we'll start up at the front here. As per usual, I've got the bike bag to handlebar roll. I'm not going to open that one because it's nice and neatly packed, but um, that's carrying all my sleeping gear. So that's got the sleeping bag, mattress, pillow, little inflatable pillow that is, my sleeping bag liner, and all my clothes is also in there. All right, down on the forks here, you can see I've got the Triple B uh, Fuel Tank XL water bottle cages. These are a great cage. They hold a 1.5 litre disposable bottle, really solid with this. Um, Little clip on the top here, keeps it all nice and solid. I've never had a bottle fall out, even on uh, rough corrugated roads. Alright, going up to the handlebars. I've got this uh, cheap $10 bag off eBay. Currently completely full of snacks. Little sunscreen hanging on there. Yeah, I've got a uh, little light extension on the front here which holds my camera, my GoPro which I'm filming with now. This little mount here is a little uh, mount I made to hold my drone remote controller and that's just a little to be seen light. I've added a few extra hand positions on these handlebars as you can see here. I've got the uh, little bar ends on the inner here and these drop bar ends here which I put on. I wasn't really sure if I'd like them but I'm really finding them very good. They're especially good in uh, windy days riding into a headwind. Okay, next up is the Toe Peak Top Tube Bag here. This is where I keep all my electronics, power banks, camera batteries, head torch, all that kind of stuff. It's nice and quick and easy to get at. Because you don't, you don't want to be fumbling around looking for camera batteries while you're riding. It's nice to be able to just swap them out really quick and uh, continue on. Okay, one of the latest additions on the bike is these two uh, water bottles here, one on each side. These are one of the best mods that I've done. The water is in just such a convenient location. In the past I've used just these front ones, which is not too bad, but they can be a little bit tricky to get out while riding, so this one here, awesome. Obviously I've got the uh, bike bag dude frame bag here, which in this bottom compartment I keep all my spares. I've got a spare tube, I've got multiple patch kits, I've got, uh, what else have I got in there at the moment? I've got chain lube, sunscreen and also my first aid kit lives in there as well. In the top pocket of the frame bag is where I keep my tent poles because it's the only place long enough to actually fit them. And in, I've also got a small fold up chair which is awesome after a long day's ride, can't beat it. You probably already noticed this uh, monstrosity of a bottle down here under the down tube. This is something I haven't used very often but as we are going to be riding along the beach in 30 to 40 degree temperatures, we need all the water we can get. Down the bottom here I've got the Blackburn Outpost cage and this giant 3.8 litre plastic water bottle. And you'll probably notice that I'm also running a suspension seat post. That's the Sun Tour NCX seat post. A little bit heavy but definitely worthwhile. Great combination, this seat post and the Brooks B17 leather saddle. Coming into the back of the bike, you'll see I'm running a rear rack and panniers. I do have a uh, saddle bag, but for this trip I just need the extra storage. I know a lot of you out there are going to say, no, you can't bike pack with panniers. I've done it plenty of times and um, I've never had an issue. Never had one come off. I've never hooked one on a tree. you just got to be careful and mindful that they do stick out wider than your saddle bag would, but I don't think it's that big a deal. Okay, in the right hand side pannier is where I keep my tent, I have a rain jacket, I have my DJI Spark drone along with 
my electronics, so charging cables, spare batteries for the cameras, all that kind of stuff. I have a three axis gimbal for my camera that I'm using now and I also keep the tripod for this camera in this bag also. And on the back of the rack I have a anchor 15 watt solar panel to hopefully try and keep my power bank and camera batteries all charged during the day because there won't be any shortage of sun when riding on the beach that's for sure. In the left hand pannier over here all I'm carrying in that is my stove, toiletry items and then the rest is entirely full of food. There's two main reasons that I like panniers over a saddlebag. One is because I like food and like to carry a lot of food. And two is if I need to buy more food along the way, I have somewhere to put it. There's nothing worse than having your bike packed to the absolute brim and you buy one banana or you buy one, one sandwich or something and you have nowhere to put it. I've come to the conclusion now that I might as well just take the panniers. It's nice to have that little bit of spare space because you never pack as well on the road as you do when you leave home. Okay, that about sums up all my gear. I'll be doing a lot of filming on this next ride to the 90 mile beach. Hopefully get it all edited and uploaded soon. Cheers. Thanks guys.